All right, I'd like to uh, welcome you to City Battle and Fishing, COAF Field Team. It's our uh, YouTube channel where we bring to you um, fishing related videos. And this round, what we're talking about is some do it yourself fishing rod racks that um, we use to help uh, clean up the clutter that we had, um, taking us from uh, a big mess to um, more organized clutter. <laughs> Anyways, uh, do, do uh, stay tuned and check out the video we have for you today. Uh, also, uh, do stick around for the little bonus that we'll have at the end. Um, maybe uh, helpful as well when you're doing a bunch of decluttering around. been itching to uh, declutter the room, get everything organized and whatnot, but we keep getting sidetracked with things like um, our day job as well as going fishing. Uh, so it's very tough to uh, do things. But that said, uh, it's been raining. We got a perfect weekend to uh, get things uh, knocked out. And so what we wanted to do is just show you what we did, specifically some do-it-yourself fishing rod racks that um, helped us uh, get things organized. In this case, uh, since we do like uh, spending money on fishing, uh, fishing poles, fishing gear and whatnot, and tend to stray away from some of the rod racks that we uh, have seen commercially available, especially since we do have a number of poles and spent a lot of money just um, just getting things organized and probably could have bought another fishing pole. So um, went over to Home Depot, got some ideas over there, and in the end came up with three rod racks that we're using currently. One is a tube uh, rod rack where we put our um, fishing uh, uh, fly rods in, in the tubes uh, that protect them and we were using some paracord as well as two screws hung up on the wall. I think they're right right there uh, <clears throat> So bottom line uh, very cheap uh, Effective and it's organized now. So that was a first rod rack Like we're saying it's a perfect time to be doing some things indoors because of the rain so we can't go fishing So we might as well do this <laughs> Anyways, uh, so the other one is these rod racks that we just use some uh, some hardwood, a poplar uh, wood, I think that's like one by two, um, or maybe even smaller, three quarter by two, some hobby poplar wood, um, and we were able to use uh, some some screws and some drywall anchor, uh, um, anchor wall, wall anchors, and then um, able to uh, use these screws and kind of protect them with some electrical tape. Those are over, over there. Got a bunch of them. In fact, we got a bunch right here. We got a bunch over there, which you can't see. And then uh, we got a bunch over here. To our right, uh, we got some thunder going. Anyways, we got a bunch up here also. And um, you'll see that uh, we were able to do this for um, less than 50 bucks. So not bad. But uh, we did come up with a third rod rack that uh, we saw some folks uh, putting together using some PVC, made some sight variations in how they did it to make it a little bit more adjustable, expandable. Uh, and so in this case, um, it's a floor rod rack made of PVC. Right here, right there, there's about six poles. That Those are the ones that we're using um, most of the time uh, these next few weeks or so. And uh, once we get done with uh, that, then we'll shift over to another uh, rod and whatnot and shift them in one. Uh, so that uh, we're, they're, they're readily available. So, uh, it's seasonal. So like right, right now, uh, we have a lot of kayak fishing uh, uh, rods and reels and whatnot, as well as lo fishing local ponds with our fly rod. So we have that down. Um, but we're getting ready to do a run to the coast to Galveston. So we've got uh, a couple of our surf fishing rods that we like using on some of the uh, uh, piers and whatnot down in Galveston. So here in the next few, hopefully if the rain uh, doesn't hit us, We'll be able to make a trip down to the coast and y'all can take a look at uh, that as well. And hopefully we'll get some nice fish with that. And anyways, uh, that's the floor rod rack. Uh, and so I'd like to tell you this round, these do-it-yourself fishing rod racks organize the room, our fishing room, declutter, and um, not spend too much. I think we ended up uh, spending about 50 bucks or so, or less than 50 bucks for the rod racks, 
paracord, maybe add another 10 bucks there and a couple of screws. And then the most expensive part was, I think it was the PVC stuff, which is about 30 bucks or so uh, to put together. Uh, but bottom line, we got everything organized and we like it. We don't feel so cluttered anymore. And now we can see, and maybe mm, in the course of the next few, we'll be able to pull down uh, different uh, bronze and try different things uh, that we haven't done in the past since we've been high, they've been uh, gathering dust in the corner over the course of um, the year, or yeah, the year. Okay, so that uh, bonus piece that we were talking about. So uh, when we were making these rod racks using the hardwood, that poplar wood, uh, we had one extra piece. It was a six foot long piece, and well, we decided to uh, not just leave it in the garage waiting nor return it since we didn't cut into it. Instead, we just went ahead and uh, decluttered some more. We have a bunch of hats that are kind of uh, just laying around or at least cluttering in, in, the, uh, in the room. And so uh, we went and uh, did a slight variation to, to what we were doing with the rod racks and mounted them horizontal. And now we've got a whole set of them up here now. So cool stuff. Anyways, uh, bonus piece there, cool beans. Alrighty, so thanks for uh, checking out the do-it-yourself fishing rod racks, organizing our fishing room and getting things decluttered and being able to see, well, I didn't know we had that fishing rod, but now we're going to go use it. Uh, so uh, that helps, and uh, we hope that uh, you found this uh, video useful, and hopefully we'll give you some more uh, in the near few of some uh, fishing videos down on the coast. Uh, but for now, uh, we're glad that you joined us today, and bottom line, always glad to talk fishing, always glad to be doing fishing-related things. Got the uh, things taken care of to organize our room and whatnot. If you found this useful, uh, do uh, uh, join us again. Uh, subscribe, like, send some comments, some, some questions. Uh, we'll definitely uh, talk fishing.